What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode of Mom and Papa Joe. Today on the menu is something special, man, something different, something I've never done before. We've got a cabrito on the menu, a baby goat. Uh, we're going to do this on the Weber. Uh, you want to watch this entire video because I'm sure there's going to be quite a bit of comedy. Never done one before, but I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. So to get started, we're going to make the marinade for this cabrito. I've got here one cup of olive oil, followed by one cup of red wine vinegar, one tablespoon of oregano leaves, dried oregano leaves, one tablespoon of coarse cracked pepper, one tablespoon of dry rosemary, one tablespoon of dried thyme. We're gonna go here with about two tablespoons of minced garlic. This is fresh. One tablespoon of kosher salt. All right, I'm gonna make sure we're nicely incorporated and our salt has dissolved. Okay, here is our cabrito, man, our little baby goat neck, uh, back end. Right now we're looking at the outside and this is going to be pretty simple, man. I'm gonna try to rub this around and uh, get it in a bag. And then we're gonna be looking at an overnight. And periodically I'm going to be uh, shaking this bag, making sure that everybody is getting the same amount of love. And man, I just thought of something. I should have jacarded the skin side. Uh, not too late though. So let's do that. Get some flavor deeper into these little shoulders. These little back legs. We're going to put this down for the night. And I also jacarded the inside a little while ago. Just again in an attempt to get a little more flavor. This is going into the fridge for an overnight. So next thing we're gonna make is going to be our sumac onion salad. And one of the primary flavors we're gonna get out of your salad, man, is uh, some ground sumac. It is uh, quite citrusy and really brings a bright, fresh flavor to everything. So we're gonna start with uh, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Here I've got one and a half large red onions sliced uh, fairly thinly. So that was two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, two tablespoons of uh, olive oil, two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of fresh parsley, and of course, our two tablespoons of our sumac, about half a teaspoon of our salt, and half a teaspoon of sugar. And you just want to give this a good mixing. The earlier you can do this, the better. Overnight would be great, but a couple of three, four hours, I will get the job done. So we're gonna refrigerate this and get ready for our second condiment. So our next condiment today is going to be a tzatziki sauce awesome sauce that complements both the lamb and I believe it's going to complement uh, this baby goat today. Uh, it is a yogurt and cucumber based sauce. Uh, it really goes well with just about anything. What I've got here is one cup of finely grated and then I strained. I put it in a, a piece of cheesecloth and I squeezed all of the liquid out of it. Uh, it's going to prevent your sauce from getting too watery. So one cup. I'm going to come back with Two teaspoon, two tablespoons of some dill, one tablespoon of lemon juice, three cloves of minced garlic, two tablespoons of olive oil, black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt. I can adjust that on the back end. I've got here two cups of plain Greek yogurt. Not sure if I'm gonna use both cups just yet, but I'm gonna start with about, let's say a cup and a half. 
I don't think it's thick. I think I will go with both, both cups. So I'm gonna use both cups. I'm gonna give this a little taste and then adjust the salt as necessary. All right, we are good to go. Let's get to work on this uh, cabrito. So our cabrito is out of the fridge, man. And uh, of course, you know, we had two cups of liquid. So I'm just gonna kind of blot the inside dry a little bit. I'm not going to wipe it off. Uh, we're gonna continue our Greek theme. We're using Cavendish Greek season. Great flavor. Man, I'm hoping that that marinade, the acids and everything, acted as a little bit of a tenderizer. There's quite a bit of salt in, uh, in this Cavendish, so we're not gonna go super crazy. We're gonna flip it and do the same thing. Check this fire. So folks, we're gonna be using the Weber. Now I've got to make this up as I am going along. Uh, what I've got, I uh, added my rotisserie ring. So my uh, attachment for the rotisserie, I'm using a ring to give me a, uh, an additional give or take six, seven inches from the fire as I'm doing this. Uh, I don't want a very hot fire. And I think that's what I've got right now. So. I'm trying to knock that down. Now the Weber grate is too small to sit in the rotisserie. So I've sort of created little hooks. So I've got the hooks attached to the grate and then formed a little bit of a V hook onto the edge of the rotisserie ring. And so the ring is just kind of sitting in there on these wires. I've got four of them. But i give this another five minutes to sort of calm down and uh, we're putting her on. It's go time, folks. All right, she's on there. I'm gonna be paying very close attention and I wanted to go, uh, I'm calling this bone side down uh, while the fire's hot as opposed to having my skin side, my presentation side burnt up. So that is why we went down. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do or not, but uh, I like that idea. So uh, let's give this another 15 or so minutes, man, and we'll come back here and see what's going on. All right, half an hour, folks. I came out here earlier and I smell, I didn't smell anything burning, so I figured I'd leave it alone. All right, our top is looking dry. We're getting ready to flip. Folks, this is just a, a fresh batch of the marinade that we uh, used yesterday. I've got a herb brush with some parsley, some uh, some thyme, some uh, rosemary. And we're just gonna hit this before we flip. Yeah, I'm getting all fancy on you guys. <laughs> An herb brush. What do I know about that? <laughs> now let's see what we've got going under here. Oh, hope you're able to see with all this smoke. No, they're not. <laughs> all right, so we are going to continue rocking for uh, another half hour or so, man. We're looking good. All right, we are at an hour. Wow. Folks, I don't know if you can see these juices bubbling up. This feels nice and soft. Let's see what we've got going on this back side. Oh, we've got some curving of that backbone. So I'm gonna flip so you're able to see. Rotate, rather. There we go. But man, I'm liking what I'm seeing. And I'm telling you, this meat feels good. I don't think it's going to be as long as I thought. I am guessing maybe another half an hour. So I'm gonna come back here. What I wanna do is I'm just gonna make some shallow scoring across the thicker parts. To finish, I'm gonna add a little honey to what's left in here to give me just a hint of sweet to balance out some of this acidity. I think I added about two tablespoons of honey, man. 
and that ought to really kick things up a notch. About another five, 10 minutes, come back here, do one more flip, hit the back side, and uh, I think we'll be at an hour and a half, and uh, we're gonna call it good. All right, hour and a half mark, folks, and I think we are going to call it good, man. All this meat feels great. Uh, we're pushing 202 in the little thicker parts. She looks great, man. Pretty tasty, too. She's ready to come apart. Oh! All right, so here we are, folks. We've given her a couple of minutes to rest, man. Uh, not a thick piece of meat. And when I'm dealing with a, uh, a piece of meat like this, folks, uh, my vision is that I'm going to be able to just uh, sort of rip this apart, manhandle it style. Oh, that is, <laughs> folks, this is almost like a drumstick right here. But, uh, oh, this is some beautiful meat right here, man. Beautiful meat. This is nice and tender. It's juicy. Oh my goodness, All right, that's all the meat right there. Mm, mm, mm. I've got some pita bread, man, that I am warming up. And for these pita bread, if you wanted this a little finer, you could probably just go ahead and chop this up, but I am not going to do that. Let's put some meat down a little. A little bit of our tzatziki. Mix things up. A little sumac salad. Let's do that again. Some more meat. A little more tzatziki. And let's cover it with some onion. <laughs> that is goodness right there. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's delicious. I am thrilled. My first cabrito. A success. I didn't realize that uh, it's going to be such a short cook time. So glad I was on it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you guys and gals as usual for hanging out with Mama Pipe and Toast. Be on the lookout for another video coming soon. In the meantime, we want you guys to take care of yourselves, look out for each other, and Mama and I will see you when we see you. Holla!